I've never mentioned this in one of my videos, but when I'm in my office, I spend almost all of my time writing. During the day, I do technical writing for my 9 to 5 job, and in the evenings, I write scripts and ideas for my YouTube videos. Writing is a huge part of my daily life, but sometimes it feels like my worst enemy, and that's because I struggle to stay focused. Sometimes when I sit down at my desk, I feel overwhelmed by all of the things I could be doing instead of writing. But it's a new year, and I want to do better. I want to become a more productive and more focused writer. I want to step away from my computer and try and come up with a new workflow for writing. When most people buy a new piece of technology, they want it to be good at multitasking, like running two apps at the same time on an iPad. But sometimes I want the opposite. I want a device that's good at one specific thing. And the opposite of a multitasker is a unitasker or a device that's used for one specific use case. And it turns out there already is a dedicated device just for writing. It's called a typewriter, and it was invented over a hundred years ago. I wanted a modern typewriter, a device that could help me focus on my writing and hopefully become a more productive writer. The typewriter will consist of two components, a tablet and a keyboard. I already have the perfect tablet for this project, but I've only ever used this tablet for reading, not writing. This is a six inch portable e-reader called the Books Palma. But really, this is an Android tablet, a tiny portable Android tablet with a very special display. The company that makes the Palma likes to call this display e-paper. And at first, it looks like any other e-ink display out there. But things change once you start to move around. The display has a high refresh rate, or at least the highest refresh rate I've ever seen on an e-reader. And I'm hoping that this super fast e-paper display will make the Palma good for not just reading, but writing as well. So I have my tablet. Now I just need the right keyboard to pair it with. That's right, folks. I got a novelty typewriter keyboard. Huh, oh man. This is actually pretty sweet. Okay. Oh. Oh man, okay, hold on. The key switches are a little springy. I don't know what to call this. This almost feels like a clicky mechanical keyboard switch. There's a ton of bounce. Like, for how cheap this was, this thing looks pretty cool. I'm actually kind of impressed. Now in addition to looking like a typewriter, this keyboard has Bluetooth, so it can connect to my tablet without any wires. It also has this built-in stand to keep the tablet firmly in place while I'm typing. But my favorite part of this typewriter-inspired keyboard is that the wheels on the side actually work. On an actual typewriter, these wheels are used to load paper. But on my modern typewriter, the wheel on the right is a volume knob, and the wheel on the left lets you switch between different Bluetooth devices. And now that I have everything I need, it's the moment of truth. I'm going to try and write the script to my next YouTube video entirely on this typewriter. Well, here goes nothing. So it's been a few weeks and I've done a lot of writing on my typewriter. I learned that the typewriter does help me stay focused on my writing. And when I needed to get something done, instead of locking myself in my office, I would find a cozy spot in the house, grab the typewriter, and get to writing. And it sounds crazy, but with the typewriter, I was actually starting to enjoy writing again. And I was able to finish my script, but that's when I learned that focus and productivity are not the same thing. Did this typewriter make me more focused? Well, yeah, it did. When I used the typewriter, there are no distractions, and the e-ink display was great for writing. It was much more comfortable on my eyes than a computer monitor, and this allowed me to write for longer periods of time without taking a break. But that doesn't mean I was more productive. 
If anything, the typewriter slowed me down. Because in what may be the most ironic thing I've ever done, this typewriter works great when I'm entering line after line of text. But when I need to move around the page and reference something, or copy and paste a line of text, this system falls apart. Which is exactly like the limitations of a real typewriter. And so, while the typewriter was good for keeping me focused, it did not make me a more productive writer. I've realized that I'm attracted to unitaskers, these specialized one-use devices, because I struggle with multitasking. Instead of just having a mouse and keyboard, my desk is often cluttered with gadgets that serve one purpose. But these devices help me, and clearly they help other people because thousands of people comment on my videos asking about them. So what's the answer? Do I keep building and buying devices that do one thing and add to my growing, sometimes overwhelming gadget hoard, or do I go in the opposite direction? Maybe try and become a minimalist? Yeah, that's probably not happening. And in the end, I think the typewriter is just another tool to help me focus. It can't make me a more productive writer. That part is on me. And I've accepted that most of my writing will still be done at my computer, but I also know that when I'm struggling, it's okay to do something different. It's okay to reach for a device that can only do one thing, like this typewriter, if that's what helps me focus. All that matters is that I keep on writing.